Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Around Playing Dwayne Quest 11 Echoes of the Nurse of Age. Last episode, we finally got everybody together to rebuild Cobblestone, and in this episode we're gonna go and re-explore Cobblestone, because there are apparently 14 items in this town. <laughs> so I'm gonna be running around this town and looking for all these items. Because I think that they're probably gonna be worth it. We also got Gemma's Ultimate Charm. Which gives you 17% chance of... a uh, 70, sorry, percent chance of not getting um, beguiled or cursed. Which is not super useful for me, since I already have something else that blocks a lot of other status ailments, but it is still very nice. And I might eventually equip it, depending on the situation. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba. It's also just nice to have cobblestone back. And this is a 100% or at least as close as I can get to a 100% so I'm gonna be doing everything anyway. And now you know everything, my friend. Okay. How many, like, is this like, the, isn't this like the third time that I ran through this freaking town looking for stuff? <laughs> I don't know, man. This is also the third time that the world has changed, so... Oh, hello. 3,000 gold coins, nice. Okay. Uh, let's go and check out the store around here. Cool little barrels. Special medicine. Ah, we have Dirk over here, of course. Hey, Dirk. What do you sell, buddy? Berserker's Blade. Whoa. Knife of Strife. That's an amazing name. Dazzling enemies. Cane of Compassion. Wow, these things are amazing. Rod of Paradise. Huh. Anchor of Record. Aristocrat's Axe. Wow. Pirate King's Coat. Metal King Jack. Whoa. Metal King stuff? Freebooter's Gloves, which increases the deafness even more. Holy Talisman, perfect. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a pep-pop. It's, it's actually here. I can buy a pep-pop. It's ridiculously expensive, but it's here. Wow. And then Pirate King stuff. Which I think is new. So let me go and buy this. Eric can hold on to that. I'm not gonna equip it instantly because of reasons. Um, I also want to give you the freebooter gloves. Okay. And these weapons are also pretty good. I definitely want the aristocrat's axe. Is there a... No, there's no bank over here. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Okay. Eric. Let's go and get you these freebooter things. Okay, they increase your deafness a little bit more, but not your defense. Let me go and rework that. Fair a moment. Love, love. Right, rework item. And let us rework the freebooter gloves. That's a high difficulty. Let's go and give it a shot. Right, this is the path one. Sizzly puff tool. Oh boy. <laughs> of course it does. Of course it fucking does. Okay, and down here. Inspiration strikes, that's good, that's good. Okay, um let's go and do a triple whammy. Let's go for a double whammy. Okay. Then I'm gonna go into Hephaestus Flame and we'll go and finish it off with a triple whammy at the top. There we go. Perfection! Nice it. 
Let's go and give you these things. Which still lower your defense. But also increase your... Yeah, it doesn't matter. The Prickly Pirate King. And I don't have the normal one because I don't have the Pirate King ca cap. But I do have this now. Now let's see. Is this better than what you're wearing? Uh, defensively, yes. Evasion stuff, no. Not really. But I could also rework this thing. So I think I will. <laughs> Alright, Eric. Just gonna rework this Pirate King's coat. Which is really difficult. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll see how this is gonna go. So the leap off times two. All focus cost is halved. Inspiration strikes. Okay. Let me go into a fastest flame right now. There we go, because that was going to make all of that stuff be perfect. Ah, <laughs> that was close. Six star difficulty, eh? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, cool. So is that going to help you with your... Touch chance? No. But it is going to increase the stats you get from this in general, so I, I think I'm fine. <laughs> nice. Okay. I also want to get the other things around here. Or at least uh, some of the weapons. So let me go and continue exploring the village, and we'll come back here once I got some money in another time. Basically. But the stuff I can get in here is pretty freaking good. I can even buy a pep pop. Never thought I would see today. Two gold coins from that. I don't think there's going to be anything behind that red door. At least like nothing new in any case. A file of magic water. Nothing in this. Was this book here before? Uh, so you understand the fuss about horses? I guess it's just the stuff about horses. I might have already read this, I'm not sure. Right, and that's it, because those are not item barrels. Still a piece of pink, uh, pink pie. Is there something over here, actually? Yes. 200 gold coins. Uh, there's nothing in here that I can see. Nope. Nothing in here. And now near my house. My house. At the back of the village. My house. Let's see. Anything in the cabin? That'll be a pot. With a seed of skill. Ooh. Those are very nice. Very much appreciate getting something like that. Let me also go and scratch my face. Ah. Gotta scratch those itches. Flirty feather. Right. Medicinal herb. Cobblestone uh, clobber. Is that something I can wear now? Is that like a new outfit? Yeah. Cobblestone's finest. <laughs> Cool. Right, see if we can find anything up here. Alright. Uh, some pottery. <laughs> With nothing in it. Oh well. I already got a couple of cool things. 
Definitely not gonna be complaining about the rewards I already got. I'm already happy enough that I get a reward in any case, like just in general. Because there's definitely games out there who don't give you rewards for stuff like this. Or very bad rewards. Oops, sorry. Nothing in these. Okay. And then we have... Gemma's house. Where's a Gemma? I still don't know. <laughs> Childhood friend. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I think it's Gemma. But I'm not 100% sure about it. My apologies for all the Gemma lovers out there. Or Gemma, whatever. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Book. Benson's corking companion. A uh, companion. Okay, well, the puns keep flow flowing into my mind. I've never experienced anything like it. Get off this one. We could show visitors around the Great Stone Spire, beyond the village, and call it the Cobblestone Tour. And there's plenty more where that came from. They just won't stop. It's like divine inspiration. Here's another. The mother said that she'd throw her son from a cliff if he didn't eat his veg vegetables. But it was a bluff. It's like the god of hilarity has granted me his holy blessings. I must tell Gemma right away. Uh, hello, buddy. Yes, you need to... You need to repair this village. Or rebuild the village to get this toggle. So... That is how I knew that we were going to repair the village. But I had no idea that it would cost me this much work. Oh well, it's fine. I like this kind of quest. It is at least a little bit interesting. Mini metal. Because of course. So how many treasures are there still left in this area? Two pieces. Da -da -da. Let's see. Anything up there? I don't think I can get up here right now. We have the two bars over here. Protecting the town. There is still one area that we haven't gone to there. Well, a couple of areas, but... Let's go and take a look. Let's, uh, let's actually go over to the place with the red door. Just to see if there is nothing new behind it. Since we are technically in another time. Let's see. No, it's just this chest. Don't remember what was in this chest. Okay, then we have this way. And the cliff over this way. We can go and take a look at the Orman. To be quite honest, the most difficult challenge that we have faced. Let's see, a single file. Pfft, wow. Okay, nothing. Hello, buddy. York, York. Let's see. Because I can drop down over here, but it's not really going to get me anything, right? Don't think that there's anything down here. Bona, 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 bona. Nothing over here. Up, 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 up. Let's go and explore this then. Look at every nook and cranny, just to make one I'm sure that I am done with this area. Good be bandage. There's nothing over here. You know, I would. You know what I would have really liked if there was some kind of a skill which allowed me to see the location of chests, <laughs> or just of the treasure. Really, the fact that there's already a skill that tells you how much treasure there's left is really and cool. But I would also really like it if I could somehow get 
somehow just be able to see it on the map. Fatalistic. I hope that there is something in here. Special medicine. There we go. That's it, right? There we go. Okay, nice. We've cleared cobblestone then. <laughs> I am satisfied now. I can continue with my life by going over to Heliodor City. And seeing if there's anything to be done over here. Alright, so there is one quest which I think I already accepted. Aside from that, what's it when... Hmm, there's still some treasure around here. Some things might have also changed around town. Ew. Let me go and take a look at something. Right, I wanted to go and get some money. Right. Hello. Uh, hello. Allow me to go and withdraw some of my massive amounts of money. Okay. Let me go and zoom back over to Cobblestone. It's quite interesting that Cobblestone is like the village. <laughs> With a lot of very good shit right now. Because of Dirk. I'm really happy that I managed to 100% clear cobblestone at least. Oh boy. The thing is I can uh, I can always look at a video. Like uh, earlier in the game I did that I think. Where I watched the video to see where all the treasure chests were. But it's not that good of an idea to do. Because a lot of stuff changes. Um, along the course of the game. I want this Aristocrat's axe. Because it just seems like a freaking godly piece of gear. Uh, ooh, this also seems pretty like, nice. And a Dazzling. Um, and an Oomphil. And that's it, really. The rest I don't really care too much about. This is pretty like, good, but... Yeah, it would be kind of difficult to... Well, it's just ridiculously expensive. Let's go and get the Cane of, cane of Compassion then, for uh, Serena. Alright. <laughs> Biggest spender. Okay, Hendrik, let's go and... So the Maxi Axe, that like the yeah, 10% of reducing enemy attack shenanigans. Uh, also increase your charm, but eh. This one, 4% chance of spells and abilities consuming no MP, and more damage dealt against demon enemies. Okay. And then we have Sarana. Which one is better of these two? Uh, 34 and 32. That one, okay. So let's go and get the Cane of Compassion on... Well, let's go and get the Cane of Compassion on this one, and then put the Butterfly Baton on this one. I think. Yeah. Okay. Let's go and see if we can rework these things. <laughs> it might be very difficult, but... I still want to take a look at it. And look, 28, and it is a 5 or 6 star maybe? I think it's 5 star. Difficulty, so it's probably not going to be easy. That's Sizzly Puff. And another one of them. And time to hit him with the Kakwadra Bash. The classic. Okay. Inspiration strikes. Yeah, I am gonna take this chance to uh, to get these ones over here on their place, and I'm just then going to do a double edged one, and then triple hami, and then maybe double hami. Yep, normal. <laughs> Only barely in the in the thing, but it's fine. It is still perfection. Nice. Alright, so that's going to be his weapon for probably quite some time, I think. Alright, uh, rework item. And then we have... Where is he? Uh, or is she? Sorry. <laughs> My apologies. Yeah, it's five-star difficulty. Okay. Alright, <laughs> I actually really hate these ones. Because they're quite difficult to do. Okay. Double edge. Yeah, as you can see, it's quite difficult to do this. 
Hmm. I think I'm gonna continue increasing the temperature for a bit. Because otherwise I don't think I'll be able to get through this. Now if next track is doubled. Puff next track is half. Toy. Um, the Festus Flame doesn't cost anything, right? No. So if I did this one, can I still do a Kokoro Bash then? No, that's 18. Let's go and do a Master Stroke. And let's go and do a Kokoro Bash. Which only barely gets it in, wow. Yeah, no. Yeah, okay. This one is really difficult. Yeah, these double ones are really difficult because I don't have anything... Like, there's nothing that I can do which is going to make this go efficiently. At least not yet, so... That's fine, though. It's still an upgrade. Now, I'm also wondering something else. Um, I do now have this Metal King jacket that nobody's going to be using. That's basically just an upgrade for this, so... Yes. <laughs> I think that's a big ol' yep. Let me also go and take a look at everybody's inventory to see if they have any equipment that they're not using. Because I'm gonna go and transfer that into the equipment bag. Because I don't want it to just be in their inventory because then I might think that they have it equipped. Right, so now you have medicinal herb. You have all of your very interesting pieces of armor. <laughs> okay, magical skirt, which is not particularly amazing. Alright, all of these things. Pretty penny. The wyvern wand. And the bonnie band. There we go. Alright. Okay, I'm happy now. I am satisfied now. Let's go back over to Heliodor. And I guess I'm going to be running around and checking the entire town. Hmm, I don't know thinking about it though. It seems like kind of an idea for me to start cleaning up. If you know what I mean. I'm going to start going around the world and getting all the loot that I can. So this entire place is done, which is amazing. Alright, so Heliodor's next. So from this point on, I am going to start collecting everything and just doing the, the true 100%. Or try to, in any case. Alright, I think I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to pause the recording for the moment. And I'll meet you guys back once I find something. So how many pieces are still left? Four pieces. Alright, I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so as stupid as it may sound, there, was, there were some barrels over here and... <laughs> One of those barrels had a medicinal herb in it, and that's what I found. It's one of the treasures. I'll be back in a moment once I find something else. Okay, so there were some barrels over here, and one of them had a piece of copper ore in it. Okay, so on this balcony over here, uh, I also found a barrel with 15 gold pieces in it. There's only one more piece of treasure left. Let's go. I have found my final query, which is somewhere around here, behind the church. And it was a pot up here which I had to do some climbing for. And uh, yeah, it was a flurry feather. So these are all just that I just missed in my initial initial run. So there's nothing that has been added. But I still kind of intend to get all the treasure chests, cause, or like all the treasure, because I don't know, I'm insane. <laughs> and I also just kind of like, like I said earlier, I like 100%ing, so... Our next destination will be Heliodor Castle. So we'll see what we can find in there. When it comes to quests. It will also turn into night. In the meantime. I would quests, I mean like even invisible quests. Like the, the, the pink stuff are basically invisible quests. You gotta be kidding me. The castle is closed during the night. <laughs> so I guess I'm running back and changing it today. Joyous occasions. Wait, don't I have the thing for you? One second in battle. Oh yeah, right. This is the, the, the big old warrior dude. Okay. I thought that I got an item for one of the quests, but I'll clear that later on. Once I reach the town for which I need to clear it. Or just once I once I feel like it, really. 
<laughs> Whatever. Hello, I would like to rest a while uh, until the one. While I stretch. Oh! <laughs> Insert a hero getting healed a sound. <laughs> it's so good. So I think I'm first going to go and check out Heligador Castle, then Heligador Dungeon, and then we'll go make our way over to downtown Heligador. To check out if I got all the things. Because that is basically what I'm doing. Let's see. Four pieces of treasure in this area. <laughs> there were certain rooms that I could not enter. No. Shudder. Floating in a corner. Oh, yeah, right. That's like one of the quests around here. It's like a weird thing floating around in a courtyard. Oh, hi, Mark. Dark form hovers in the air under a tree. What is that thing? Seems very interested in, uh, in that tree for some reason. I wonder what it wants. Wait a second. Is it just me or is that one big root thingy wrapped around the tree glowing? I think you should take a closer look. Um. Excuse me while I first break the pottery, just in case. I'm pretty sure I got this, but might as well. Sure. This has something to do with Jasper, right? Because this was the memory from uh, Jasper. And Why is it that you always thought yourself so much better than me? Why was it always you who was given the golden opportunity? Opportunities. Why was it always you who got just what you wanted? Why? Hmm? Tell me why! Well, no more. I will be second best no longer. You will outdo me no longer, Hendrik. This time, it is I have been chosen, and you, who will fade into obscurity. Huh? So, uh, what did we just see? Hmm. At the end there, hmm? that looked like the throne room in Heliodor. The place was a ruin. And that man Hendrik was doing battle with, could it have been Jasper? I cannot say for certain, yet I have seen that scene before, somewhere. This shadow, could it have something to do with the visions we just witnessed? Come, we must go after it. All right. I think I'll first focus on this, then continue my exploration in the, in this place. It kind of looks like a humanity from, uh, from Dark Souls. You know, black shadow, uh, shadowy thing everyone's talking about. Well, it just headed over through the door on the left towards the ladder. It seemed to be, uh, it seemed to be like hovering in front of the dresser in there. I'm not sure what it's after, but it hasn't attacked anyone, and it doesn't uh, make it a milk or sour. So I suppose things could be worse. It's gonna go into the dungeon, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Of course, this is the dresser behind which uh, lies the passage to the king's chambers. Only two people beside the king have ever known of its existence. Of its existence, I am one, and Jasper was the other. When we were boys, we would often uh, get up to no good. We had to plan to sneak into the king's chamber, but he discovered it and reprimanded us severely. Truly, those were happy times. Jasper and I made a solemn vow that we would protect this kingdom together, and I truly believe that we would. No matter. Now we are here, and a shape must have led us here here for for a reason. It is trying to tell me something. Fred, we must go to Jasper's old room. There's something I need to see. 
Alright. Let me go and get these things first. Just in case. You know, while I'm running through this place. Um, anything else around here? This is just another... You know, let's go. Let's go, let's go down here. And see if we can find something else. Huh. Bob, here's some barrels over here. Aha! Seal of defense and a mini metal, hey! <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I'm doing this, by the way, just to get the mini metals. Right, so two pieces of treasure are still left in this area. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. A mighty armlet. And a pair of boxer shorts. <laughs> ah, yes. These are Hendrix's qu quarters, I just noticed. Dresden armor. Mermaid princess led King Dresden deep beneath the waves to an undersea realm, where the citizens were engaged in a contest of strength, wrestling one another in order to be recognized as the strongest. If you can defeat my father, the princess told him, he will grant you my hand in marriage. And thus the two uh, kings fought, uh, but so perfectly that the, uh, were these warriors. Matched that though they wrestled for seven days and seven nights, neither could claim victory. So Ostrak was the king of the ocean, at the warrior king's might, that he offered him not only his daughter's hand in marriage, but also one of the great treasures of his realm. From this treasure, a lustrous scarlet scale, uh, scale, scale well, as strong as steel and as light as silk, the warrior king forged a beautiful suit of crimson armor. But he could not wear the princess, for he was a man of his word, and had not defeated her father. He turned his back on his beloved, and to her dismay, left the undersea kingdom, never to return. <laughs> ah, cool. That's a cool story I got there. Yeah, that's it. No more loot. Nice. So this is one that I did and could enter, and already cleared, I think. Let me go and read the books, just in case if it's like, if the, the, the Drustian uh, stuff is a thing. Small treasures. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aha! Though I have written much concerning uh, the techniques by which a warrior might perfect his uh, craft, these techniques are all as not, if uh, if he be not sound of heart and mind. Come what may, a calm, clear spirit shall see, th uh, see thee through. This in ye heart, that victory is won. Comfort one another's intentions, and learn the secret of the spirit. These aren't abilities, right? Just out of curiosity. Um... Let's see. Yeah, no. Right. Hello, buddy. It is a month now since Hendrik returned from his training in Puerto Valor. In that short time, he has grown tall, and his bearing is now very much that of a knight. I asked that he spar with me, but, he, uh, but I was no match for him. No longer is he merely physically stronger, his sword skills have been honed to an extraordinary degree. But it was not his blows that hurt me most. No, it was the way he reached out his hand with a smile to help me up after he knocked me to the ground, just as he did when we were children. While he was training, I was not idle. I threw myself into my studies, devouring tome after tome on military strategy. But it is never enough. Yet again, he surpasses me. We vowed to serve and protect his kingdom together, but perhaps he has forgotten this. Or perhaps he's forgotten this. Or does he view it as a childish pro uh, promise? best consigned to the past uh, with the memories of all we shared. But I have not forgotten. I still imagine us fighting alongside the king to defend the honor of Heliodor. I will not let that dream die. I will do all that I can to make it a reality. So this is Jasper's journal. He writes wh what his pride would never allow him to say. I must confess, I had no idea that this was how he felt. I see now that the darkness uh, that consumed his heart had begun to gather much sooner than I cared to realize. I see now uh, how my actions must have hurt him. If I'm not mistaken, the app uh, apparition will appear next in the banqueting hall. Might I request that we go there and see if my intuition is correct? Welcome to the banquet hall. Tonight, our main course will be you! Right. Uh, this is not the banquet hall. Throw down a corridor to the banquet hall. Let's see. Um, is there any new treasure around here? Because it's a new floor. Okay, no. Where is the banquet hall, even? Oh, it's actually up here. 
It's this big old room, he's in the middle, okay. It has been years now since that fateful day when the darkness first descended and tragedy befell Dundrasil, your home. Jasper and I stood together at the head of the force that succeeded in driving back the monsters and escorting King Carnelian to safety. Little did we know that the man we strove so hard to protect had already been possessed by the fiend Mordigan. Upon our return, His Majesty made me a general for my deeds that day. But I did not rescue him alone. Without Jasper's bravery, all would have been lost. I urged the King to recognize my old friend's valor, but he paid me no heed. Jasper was not rewarded for his bravery. He was ignored, ostracized. This must have been Mordigan's plan all along. To wound Jasper, let the darkness fester in his heart, then use that resentment for his own ends. Why could I not see what my master had become? And why was I so blind to the darkness consuming Jasper's soul? It is you. Come, we must see where it leads us next. I sense it has something important to tell us. Hmm. Where is it going? Uh, just been trying to tell us something. So there's no more treasure around here, right? No, okay. Then we shall go to the next floor. The top floor. And nothing over here, okay. That resilient sovereign just constantly respawns. Hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> it's money. Speaking of which, I don't think I've sold any of my, like, money things. That I should probably just sell because they're not used to anything else. Oh boy. Is something gonna happen? We sparred here back when we were young. Jasper, show yourself. They say those the monsters take before they finish their business in this life come back as bitter black spirits. Looks like that's what we're dealing with here. It's Jasper like as not. Why? Why did this happen to me? Why? I'm sensing a horrible, ugly hatred. Careful, everyone. I don't usually make it my business to fight vengeful spirits. But something tells me we don't have much choice. Let's do this. This is not your fight. I must face him alone. Hendrik, that's not the man you knew. It's nothing more than the darkness he left behind him. A darkness I helped create. A darkness I must destroy. Alone. Let us bring this to an end. Come, Jasper. It is time at last. 
Alright. Let us begin with buffing up. Take Jasper, I must put an end to your suffering. Once and for all. Oh, and then it turns into that. Interesting. To think that you have fallen so far. Let's go and get my buff back up. <laughs> so this is the power of the darkness. Allies. <clears throat> My voice no longer reaches you. If I am partially to blame for your pain, then it is also my duty to end it. Hang drink. Jasper, forgive me. Jasper, you speak of surpassing me, but in truth it was I who always followed in your wake. I was robbed of my home, my family. I was alone. You were the one who spurred me on in their place, the light that guided me. You are the same sentimental fool as ever, I see. You do remember that I betrayed you. How could I forget? I am indeed a fool. But not for that. For not seeing before it was too late. If I had spoken to you, if I had listened, perhaps I could have saved you. You knew. You always knew. We were born two very different souls. It was that difference that brought us together. As your light grew brighter, mine could only blacken in response. And before I knew it, I felt more kinship with the denizens of the dark you battled so righteously than I did with my own kind. The lure of evil grew, and before I knew it, I had passed the point of no return. I saw then what Mordigan saw. The beauty 
in the blackness. Shed no tears for me. I seek no sympathy. All I ask is that you answer one question. Do you still... Do you still consider me your comrade and companion? Always, friend. waited to hear those words. Do you remember the pact we made as boys? Come. It is time we made good on our promise. The two-headed eagle cannot fly with just one wing. From this day forth, my spirit shall stand alongside yours. We will never be apart again. <laughs> oh. That's one heck of a suit of armor. But then those two always were quite the combination. <sighs> Forgive my self-indulgence. But know that I have not forgotten my pledge. I shall be... No. We shall be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companions. My oldest friend and I. Together. Though it was long in coming, far too long. We are united at last. All right. And thus Hendrik has the twin Eagle armor, which uh, which does chance of being beguiled reduced by twenty five percent, chance of being cursed reduced by twenty percent, twenty percent of MP of uh, from incoming spells will be absorbed. Hmm, interesting. I think I'll go and give my metal slime armor to somebody else then. <laughs> the unswerving companion. <laughs> it's one hell of a name. Okay. Anybody else want to have metal slime armor? I have a liquid metal jacket, but not metal slime. I can't, yeah, you cannot wear that. Who can wear metal slime armor? Um, that is... Okay. So, I guess... Where is he? There we go. No metal king jacket might... Oh, yeah, it's liquid metal. Sorry. Right, liquid metal armor. Uh, hmm. How much defense do you have? Like, how much? Hmm. <laughs> Speaking ridiculously confused. Can you wear this? No, you can only wear the liquid metal jacket. You can wear it, technically. Uh, where is it? Oh, he still just has it in his inventory, All right? Hmm. It's just really bad, though. It's not that good anymore. Yeah. Alright. So now we have a... Uh... That's so cool. <laughs> wow. This game keeps surprising me, man. It just does. It just keeps surprising me. Alright, my friends. Um, I do think that's going to be it for this episode. And uh, next episode we're going to go and I think talk to the king, because I do think that he also has a request. And then we're gonna go, like, after I'm done with whatever the hell he's gonna ask of me. Then we're gonna go and make our way over to the dungeon again. If there even still is something. Wait, let me go and take a look. Because it might have been a thing about, like, the shadow thing. Yeah, I think it's gone now. 
Okay. Well, I guess we're going to go into uh, the dungeons next episode to go and check out to see if I have all of the stuff that is to be gotten in that place. And after I'm done with that, we're going to go over to Lower Heliodor. So, hope you enjoyed this episode of Just Setmas playing Dragon Quest. You have an Echoes of Elusive Age. And, wait, I think I already said that, but I'm going to say it again. <laughs> Goodbye.